Welcome to Shacklestorm NBA, your only source for real basketball. Now, I haven't downloaded in two days, and that's because I wanted to see the smoke clear between the Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, Nikola Jokic deserves all the blame. He is a superstar, and he shouldn't have choked a 20-point lead. That's what happens when you blow your wad in the first quarter. <laughs> That's what you get, Nikola Jokic, for being the head of the team, for being the leader, and for having an arrogant coach like Mike Malone who talks a lot of trash. Maybe you're humble, maybe you're nice, and maybe you don't care and you want to play with your horses, but Mike Malone sure cares and he sure talked a lot of crap. So there's no doubt there's a lot of backlash coming towards the Denver Nuggets. But when it comes down to getting the fade, nobody's exempt on Shecklestorm NBA. And Ant-Man came up just like his name, small, in this Western Conference second round. Scoring only 16 points on 23% shooting. Ant-Man looked like LeBron James... And was bailed out by his bench. The so-called new Michael Jordan and brand new media darling of ESPN really didn't come out and take over the game. He didn't even bail his team out of that 20-point deficit. This is really, really bad for Anthony Edwards. I mean, if you're going to be compared to my greatest student, Michael Jeffrey Jordan... Well, guess what? You need to come up big in every game. Otherwise, you just LeBron James. And who knows? You might actually get sent home to Cancun pretty soon. Because there's one plumber left. That's right. One plumber left. And that's Luka Doncic. The only one who's statistically close to Michael Jordan in scoring. When it comes down to the finals... And to the playoffs. So imagine being sent home by yet again another plumber. Because unlike everyone else in the NBA, the Israeli penny pinches are the equivalent of basketball monks. And you can ask Yab Costas exactly what that is like. Because we literally put our boots on his neck and wouldn't let him breathe. When we beat the living shit out of the George Bush squad. They had no answer for Skinny Hardaway. They had no answer for me. They had no answer for Marion Gates. They had no answer for Angry Old Hoops. Or Uncommon Sense. And why? Because we play scrimmages like it's Game 7. And that's how I taught my student. Michael Jeffrey Jordan to play every day, all the time, every minute of the day. Play the game like it's game seven. Play the game like you have nothing to lose. And that's why LeBron James is an absolute trash player. LeBron James has been shoved down our throats. And LeBron James has self-proclaimed himself to be the GOAT. And that is the biggest problem we have with LeBron James. Jokic and Ant Edwards are not proclaiming to be the GOAT. Jokic and Edwards aren't saying that they're anywhere near Michael Jordan's airspace. But LeBron James, on the other hand, thinks that he's better than Michael Jordan, despite only having three championships and a Mickey Mouse ring. On Shecklestorm NBA, everybody catches a fade. Win or lose, if you don't come up big like everyone says you're supposed to, I'm talking about you, Anthony Edwards, and I'm talking about you, Nikola Jokic. If you don't come up big when it, it really counts, which means that you have to be held to the standard, the gold standard that is Michael Jeffrey Jordan, then you both are losers, even if one of you wins. Because had Nikola Jokic come up with only 16 points in a win, I can guarantee you on this channel he would have gotten roasted. 
Because we roast everybody for poor performances. There's no way out. So with Ant Edwards becoming the new face of the league, I hope he shows up against Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Because if he takes any losses and ends up being sent to Cancun, trust me when I tell you, this channel is going to roast him like he's never been roasted before. Because when you come up small like LeBron James with 16 points on 23% shooting, there's no excuses for your performance. And then have a big mouth and talk trash when you showed up small. That's a nice little tribute to Scap Attack. But I can tell you right now, they better win. They better win because this channel is going to unleash hell on Anthony Edwards. Because even though Nikola Jokic did choke, even though Nikola Jokic isn't what he was cracked up to be, Anthony Edwards is the new face of the league. Anthony Edwards is going to be ESPN's media darling. So he has more pressure to win the finals than... Nikola Jokic. So let's hope and let's cheer for Anthony Edwards to come up big like Michael Jordan. Because if he doesn't, I can tell you right now, the roasting that I'm going to give him is going to be on biblical levels. So, guys, I hope you tune in to the next episode where we're going to talk about Skinny Hardaway and his exploits on the basketball court with historical NBA footage where he totally destroys the Boston Celtics and the San Antonio Spurs. So guys, remember, wear your sneakers and keep it shalom.